Hey everybody, it's Aaron from DV Workshops with another quick tip on how to put two boxes on the screen at the same time using FCPX. Why would you want to do this? Well, this is what it looks like, what you're watching, and you might have the CEO or a trainer in one box on the left side, the right side, what they're talking about, or even a music video. It spices things up. I'm going to show you how to do it with a black background and then add a dynamic background using some of the cool generators in FCPX. I'll try not to talk as fast when I'm teaching. Okay, so that's what we're up to. Um, first thing is, I'm going to have him talking, the silver man. Some days people, you know, they come down here. And he'll be in be one box, and I'm going to show in the second box what he's doing. Now, I've already gone and found this clip, so I'm not wasting your time. And again, this, should, this is an advanced clip, but you should already know. It's I for in. Find the end of the clip. O for out. Hit the letter E, and it brings in the clip. Okay. There's my clip. To see the whole clip in the timeline, I call it getting into the zone. I hold the shift and Z key, and now I can see the whole thing. Shift in the letter Z like zebra. So watch. If you ever find yourself so expanded, you go, Where's, where are all my little clips? It's so huge. Hold down the shift key. That's on the left side of your and right side of your keyboard. The letter Z, which is right next door, and get into the zone. And you see, I can see everything there. Now, here's the clip we're going to use. Some days people, you know, they come down here. It's going to be a small box on the left side. Now, I'm going to go choose an image up here in a moment to put over him. But first, what I'm going to do is I want you to come over here and go to the toolbox. I want you to scroll down to where it says range selection. Do you see that? Range, home on the range with the deer and the antelope play. Now, I'm going to select it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the range tool and watch. Once I become inside the clip, it turns into a mini skimmer, right? Here's the big skimmer, mini skimmer, mini, big skimmer, mini skimmer. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set an in and an out in my timeline. It's like I'm going to create a hole because I want to fill a shot on top. I don't have to trim it at the end. I want the duration to be the exact duration as the shot, uh, as the interview. So hold your thumb down, swipe your forefinger to the right, range the whole clip. See, I've ranged it. And that creates an in, in and out in the timeline. You can hit I and O all day long in this timeline. If you're used to creating in and outs in your timeline or project, it won't work. The new school in and out in your timeline is the ranging. You range an area, that creates an in and out, and it comes in exactly, you see that, isn't that cool? Exactly between the in and outs you've created. Now I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to go back to the selection tool, select those, get rid of them. Go back to the range tool. So I'm going to take this mini skimmer. I'm going to range all this. Now you'd be saying, Aaron, why are you ranging this interview clip? It's because the cutaway that I'm going to put on top of the B-roll, I don't want to have to trim it. I don't want it to be extra long or short. This way I know it'll fill the exact duration of the clip below it. Now, since I already have an in and out in the timeline, the out here will take precedence. It's called a three-point edit. So I come up here, and that in point, I don't need to give it an out. It will stop this clip as soon as it hits the end of the clip in the project. So I have an in here, right? I here. We're talking about two boxes at the same time. I brought the original interview in. Now hit the letter Q. And watch, it ignores where the skimmer is in the playhead. It just fills the range. Isn't that cool? And now we have a clip that fills it. Well, it's a little sloppy at the end, but you'll get the, sh you'll get the idea here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the selection tool. So once you've got the clips in on top of each other, I used the letter E for the one on the bottom, brought into the storyline, and then I brought in a connected clip on top. Now I need to reduce the scale by 50%. If you're going to do four boxes, can anybody guess what the scale would be? That's right, you're a genius, 25%. So I'm going to select both of these. And I just last suit it. How do I do that? I go above the clips, hold my thumb down. I do not release my thumb, stretch my forefinger. I create what I call a lasso, and I select both clips. Now, the action moves over here to the inspector. If you haven't got the inspector open yet, it's right next to the share button. Click on the inspector. Now, come up here, see where it says video. Select video. And you're going to see where it says transform right there and do show. These are the new school drop-down menu, show and hide. And where it says scale, type in 50% there, five zero, and then make sure, this is very important, hit return. And so what happens is now both clips are 50%, but one clip is on top of the other. So now we've sized them correctly, we gotta position them. Come over here to this button right here, 
and I want you to select transform like transformania transform and now very important this won't work if both are selected because I'm gonna have you move stuff Apple Z and it, you'll see it won't work if you select both so select just let's say we're gonna start with the bottom clip just select the bottom click on it come over here you see the circle hold your thumb down swipe your finger to the left and you see how it's showing you that it's staying centered and move it right over to the left now do the same but with the top key clip rather select the top clip and move this to the right and see how it's you can put space between them or not I'm gonna have no space and folks that's it Two people boxes. you know they come down here you can be in a good mood perform and people will like it then other days people just want to just get picture crazy and then you have to do, do all this don't you love that look now one of the cool things about Final Cut Pro is that you've got all these really cool effects and backgrounds already built in and one of my favorites are the video generators right here look at this is arcs grab it bring it underneath everything if it's not if it's shorter than or longer than your clip stretch it out oops can anybody remember how do I see everything at once how do I get in the zone shift Z and you see how that gives me a better idea of what I'm dealing with snap that under and instant you've got a very professional looking video here I just get picture crazy and then you have to do, do all this and you know you try to and let's say you want something different just grab it drag it onto the clip select replace from start and now watch we have a different background you can be in a good mood perform and people will like it then other days people just want to just get picture crazy and then you have to do, do all this and isn't that cool so let me summarize again what I did step one was I brought in a clip right step two is I brought another clip on top by using the range tool remember I ranged found an endpoint up here for the visual and then hit the letter Q and that brought this in on top then I selected both clips lassoing it right left thumb hold down swipe finger and I came over here to the inspector remember I went over to the inspector I hit transform typed in 50% from scale and then you remember I selected one click but I selected transform selected one clip at a time and you remember I moved them both sides okay how cool is that two boxes at the same time put some float underneath there see how that looks and we have some cool stuff well I hope you enjoyed that clip and if you'd like to learn more about video storytelling with Final Cut Pro split edits Condensing material. Some days, people, you know, they come down here. You can be in a good mood. J cuts and L cuts. It's all here at our Vimeo webpage. And for three dollars, we have a clip. That's right. It's called "The Art of Video Storytelling with Final Cut Pro X." And if you enjoyed this clip, you might enjoy that clip. It's only three dollars, and it's at Vimeo, and it's at our six months of film school. You can also find the clip as part of our six months of film school at Udemy. Udemy is our partner for educational training, and you see this clip is there, along with a lot of training and video production that you might find helpful. So please visit us at Udemy or Vimeo to learn more about Final Cut Pro, or join us here in Los Angeles for a hands-on video workshop with myself, Aaron Raynan. If you have any questions, just email us, info at dvworkshops.com. Thanks for taking the time to watch this clip and listen to this little ad. It's Aaron Rain in DV Workshops. Have a great day.